guys, I'd love to hear bring you guys another Clash Royale video. So this is episode two of our like chest opening video. So you guys can see we still have the basically the normal amount of gems from last time. We have almost 700, but since I have not, not, I don't really have any gems or I mean chests here available. I think we're just gonna simply buy two giant chests for to basically maximize how much we'll get. Because yes, we can get a magical chest, but it only gives us 51 cards. While the giant chest gives us 136, and we could get way more gold, I think, from it. Yeah, so it's like we get two giant chests for 300 each, so that'll basically drop us down to 94 gems, and that'll be fine. I'm, I don't really matter, it doesn't really matter. And we have these, I probably have like two free chests, so let's actually open them first. So there's 41 gold. What do we get next? One knight card and four goblin cards. That's pretty good, especially because we're trying to get those leveled up higher. 37 gold on the second one. Two extra gems, so we're closer to 700. One arrow card, so we're actually able to upgrade. Of course, been able to upgrade that to level 7. And what's last? And four bomber cards. So yeah, there we go. That's that. I will hope. Oh, I was hopefully wishing I could get a crown chest by this time, but I haven't played all day because I was really busy with other stuff. So yeah, um, just so you guys know. But yeah, now we are at, we're sitting at a good like 200 and 66 xp away from hitting level 7 so we're extremely close so hopefully we could do so start working on more upgrades try to collect as much gold as possible get more cards and try to see how much how far we could get see hopefully we could get to level 7 because i really want to you know hit level 7 it's just an achievement yeah it's just a it's just a level but it's kind of like a pretty pretty high milestone at this point so yeah let's open the very first one giant chest of ring three contains at least 13 rares up to 1105 gold and 136 cards so let's do this and boom 300 gems right there so what are our first exactly 1000 gold that's amazing we could probably up, we go up that's basically one upgrade right there what's next oh my god we unlocked the expo i actually didn't think we were gonna get it. we unlocked one expo card that's crazy i didn't Oh my god, we finally unlocked it. I didn't think we were going to get in this these chests. 14 Valkyrie cards. We rarely use the Valkyrie, but good good thing we have enough cards to upgrade her to level 4. And what's the last one? Oh my god, 121 Bomber cards. That is insane. I guess we don't really get much stuff with that. Getting enough to upgrade him to level 7, which I think is going to be a 1,000 gold. But I don't think we're going to do him yet. And just getting the expo in general is a good thing. Because that... Now we finally unlocked a new card. Where is it? The expo down here. So we'll look at those stats afterwards. And let's just get into it. Like you can see up here in my cards to buy. I just need one more for skeleton army to upgrade it. So let's hope we get a skeleton army or let's see what else do we have to unlock? Or the rage spell. Because the rage spell is the last card for us to unlock at arena three. That way with that, I think we'll have every single card in the leading up to this point so let's go 300 boom there you go let's see 1009 gold so we're up to 3664 gold we have three cards left so what's left four giants that's that's good it's actually hard to get giant cards so that's pretty cool um 10 barbarian hot cards that's crazy we could upgrade it probably up to if i'm not mistaken we could probably upgrade it up to level four with how many cards we got and what's last thing 122 night cards holy damn we only got one in our free chest and we got 122 here now we have so many upgrades we are left with 96 gems we're gonna leave those we might buy the pouch of gold just so we could have gold for more upgrades but with this we are good enough so we're literally just three three skeletons away from upgrading level seven if only we got those because it would have been really fun. So this is my spawner deck. So you guys can see, of course, all gobs on the top and all skeletons at the bottom. This is my spam deck. And then my traditional, you know, normal deck right here. So to say, I think the normal spam deck is the one that has most of the cards I want to upgrade. So let's actually, let's start off from, God, I can't click it. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't click it. So let's actually start with arrows. 1,000 gold for arrows. To level seven let's go boom gives us 50 xp closer to that level seven ranking so it gives us plus 18 area damage and plus seven tower crown tower damage which brings us up to 
81 and 202. So that's good. Let's see what is next. Let's see. We don't use our prints. That's our prints. Let's see. To our decks. We're basically using them for our decks. Um, I'm not going to upgrade cards. Like, yes, I use these cards, but I'm not even sure. There's some cards I actually want to upgrade. So, yeah, let's actually do that. Um, we have basically the prints and the bomber. And we could still buy gems to upgrade a third card. So we have seven cards to unlock. That's not to unlock, to upgrade, which is crazy because I think that's the most I've had. So from here, let's do 1,000 gold for a level 7 knight with 50 XP. So that brings us up to 96 plus 96 hit points, 11 extra damage per second, and 12 extra damage overall. So that is good. Another 50 XP going towards level 7. So here we go. Do the bomber to level 7. Also, we're getting so many level 7 cards. That's crazy. Most of our comments are hitting level 7. By the time we're getting level 7 ourselves. So this one has 24 extra hit points, 8 extra damage per second, and 16 extra area damage. Amazing. So there we go. 50 XP on the board. We're getting really, really close to level 7. I'm not, I doubt we're going to hit it by this episode. So let's actually go back here. Go down and purchase that 1,000 gold. So now we have 36 gems left. That's a decent amount of gems, I could say. We'll probably, hopefully I could get some money to do this. So I, I'm thinking about doing this every other week, which is basically how we did it. So, you know, I mean, last week we did a normal Clash Royale video. And the week before we did our first chest opening, this is our second. So yeah, there you go. A thousand gem, a thousand extra gold. If only we were able to upgrade our skeletons, that would be the best. So all of our decks, the last one we need is this which is just 400 which means we might be able to upgrade yeah we might be able to upgrade the gob hut the valkyrie that'll be 800 800 we'll have 800 left which means we might be able to upgrade everything we're not going to upgrade i'll repeat we're not going to upgrade what's it called our cannon because that'll be too much so i think we could actually upgrade everything but our cannon so let's actually start with the lowest which is 150 so for barbarian up to level three so let's do that boom upgrade to level three and i think we're gonna be able to upgrade it more so there we go it adds 121 extra hit points and raises our barbarian level by one and look at that we're actually able to upgrade it again to level four but we'll hold that for that let's go up here and since this is our smaller deck let's go 400 for a goblin health upgrade and boom 84 extra hit points and gives us an extra level up to I think level 6 goblin so there we go 25 extra XP we're a good one like 81 XP away from level 7 so hopefully we could hit that in the probably in the next chest opening we'll probably be able to hit that or probably in between but we have 1114 gems let's upgrade our barb hood now let's go to level four level four barbarian hut giving us an extra 136 hit points with an extra barbarian level to six so there we go 25 xp on the charts and there we go we have 700 left and that means we can only do one more upgrade sadly we're literally at the verge of getting another upgrade and we have to well technically yeah it's just two upgrades left because we can't do the cannon so we're probably gonna have to hold them off until the next opening and stuff but to say we don't use any of these two troops in our decks. But for the sake, yes, people say, oh, I right, save your, you know, save your gold and stuff for when you really need to upgrade troops. The thing is, it's going to be a long while until we could get upgrade troops, even if we get these last skeletons. So, even, even though that, this one is because we just got an extra card. There's one card. We're going to do the Valkyrie to level four. Gives us 25. How much does it take for this one? This is good. So it gives us the exact same amount, but I think for that, I think we're going to do this giant skeleton because it gives them, I think, more more stats. Yeah, it gives them a better advantage. So here we go. Let's upgrade the giant skeleton to level two or level two epic, I think. And it gives us an amazing 200 extra hit points, seven extra damage per second, seven, uh, 10 extra damage overall. And an extra 72 death damage, which means when he dies and he drops the bomb, uh, that's how much damage he deals. So there we go, 25 extra. We are a measly 41 XP away, which is basically these last two upgrades away. So we're going to have to save up 1,044 gems 
I mean, gold again. It was not that hard. I could say I did it before. At the beginning of this video, as you saw, I had like 1,700, 1,005 to 600. That was just saving up. So probably we could do it again. Probably, yeah, save, those, save all that gold for the next video. We get enough gold, save it for the next chest opening that happens in basically in two weeks because that's how long it takes. You know, that's how long I'm going to wait between episodes. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this chest opening and card upgrading. We unlock upgrading and unlocking. So, we on to sum it up, we unlock the expo to go through his stats. Of course, an epic card takes six elixir, put them down. He's a nice tower. The nice tower you got there it would be a shame if this expo whittled it down from the side of the arena. So yeah, it, you could easily put them at the edge of your arena and shoot across and take down their towers without them doing damage to your expo until their troops come down. So it has 850 starting hit points at level one, 200 damage, 60 hit, 66 damage per second, with a hit speed of 0.3 seconds. So it's not that. Of course, it's not that fast, I would say, but it's still really effective because it has a 40 second lifetime. It's with a kind of downside of five second deployment, but that's good. That's okay because you can still put your troops out ahead of it so that it doesn't get taken down. But it is only targeting ground troops, but it has a range of 13 tiles, which is crazy. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Those are the expo stats for the new unlock card. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already seen more Clash Royale content on the channel. With that, hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.